Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Collective, I'm getting more energy about whatever's going on here. It's like there's a big issue and it's like somebody has an issue with you about how strong you are, how much you're standing up to them. They don't like it. They want to bully and fight with you, right? I'm getting a lot more energy and a lot more download. So let's go ahead and get it. First energy that we've got started out here is the four of pentacles in the in reverse, right? This is somebody who does not want to lose. They have a fear of loss, right? They're very inflexible. So it's just like you standing your ground. They're trying to stay in their ground. They don't want to lose. So it's like very like a miser, very inflexible, right? This person just does not want to lose. So it's just like, eh, they're having a problem. Their problem is that Queen of Wands in reverse energy. Like this is somebody who's like reacting. I'm getting a very reactional energy. They're acting out right about now. This is somebody who's experiencing some issues about how strong you are, how much you're not budging about where you are in your life. Whomever this particular person is, place the energy wherever it resonates for you and your situation. This could be friends, family. Um, this could be a, a job situation. I am getting work situations very, very specifically. If that does not apply, again, place the energy as it resonates in your situation. But I've got a lot of downloads as well. But this Queen of Wands of Reverse Energy, this is this immature, insecure person who's very jealous. They're very catty. They're definitely triggered by you. I told you they're pressed by your strength. They are. This person is. Your strength triggers them okay this person's triggered so they're acting out because they're triggered told you somebody's insecure about you here they go you're looking for me here i go nobody was looking for you go sit down <laughs> okay this queen of wands in reverse energy is like in that bully mood uh that i was telling you, this person like wants to pick a fight because they're triggered by your strength right however the situation resonates this person is experiencing the world in reverse right they are experiencing delays they are experiencing feeling stuck and having setbacks right but it's also because this world in the inverse energy as well it's just like you know unmerited success and being lazy they want to come up off for you this person thought that they can just ride your coattails right however this resonating right you know but you know try to get a come up off of you they thought that they can make you look bad so they can make themselves look better y'all insecure people will do it it's like they they don't have the virtues by themselves to stand out on their own, however this resonates. So the only way that they can look good is to make you look bad by reacting like this. Y'all, this is how people do it out here. I'm telling you. So what does this person do? Go to the Eight of Wands energy. This is quick movement, travel speed, relocation to be very, very uncommitted with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So the fact that they're pressed, they're stuck, they're reacting, they don't like your strength, however you're standing up to them, right? This person doesn't like it. So they go to Eight of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is this energy of being non-committed. They're not committed to you anyway. So you already know that com uh, collective, but this is like doing some type of, you know, uh, shoddy work, right? So who do they team up with? This is somebody teaming up with somebody. It's always two, man. It's all, always two. I'm telling you, this is somebody else. This is somebody else. It's Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it's just like this person's triggered, they're pressed. So they're going to go ahead and get somebody else to do their dirty work. This is how I'm getting it in the energy, y'all. And I'm telling you, you've got Pinnacle energy here, Pinnacle energy here, Pinnacle energy here. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is greedy, lazy, irresponsible, bad with money, and they like to show off. So this is like bad guy number one, bad guy number two, okay? And this is where I'm going to get in my downloads because this is definitely connecting here. Um, I'm getting a work situation to where you've got a boss and or HR situation. Somebody's trying to bully you. I heard contract negotiation. I heard lowball, okay? So this is all going on with this pinnacle energy, things that are money-bound, contracts, pinnacle energy, earthbound things, uh, you know, tangible items, could be, you know, products, whatever it is, personal possessions. But I heard contract ne negotiations. I heard lowball. And I also heard discrimination. Y'all, somebody is out here trying to discriminate against you. Somebody is doing something in a contract negotiation, whether this is work, whether this is your own business, finance, or however. This is somebody who's triggered by you, so they want somebody else to do the dirty work. This is a person who wants to show off about something. This is somebody who's like the, the front for this person back here that's triggered by you. They're both triggered, but I'm just saying, this is like the front person who carries the star in the reverse energy very faithless, hopeless, pessimistic, and they have an unrealistic wish about you to judge you, okay? So this is a person that's like, oh, the collective is all standing in their power, right? Let's go ahead and shut that down. Y'all, I have had this happen in the workplace when 
And I've talked about this on my prior readings before, you know, when you actually have the energy of leadership, you actually have true leadership skills. I don't care who it is that feels like they have that title over you, right? I was telling you guys that on my reading yesterday, I've had that experience, right? Somebody who has a title, they'll get triggered because you actually are the leader by virtue and you actually walk like it, talk like it. Yeah, it gets, it gets people triggered. <laughs> so they'll do things to react out of that insecurity to try to make you look less in some way y'all i'm telling you it has happened to me it does happen they will always try to have this unrealistic wish to judge you in their mind as a narcissist they always have to be the one that's better than you they cannot accept the reality that you actually are a leader so i don't care this is uh, not a work situation this is you being a leader, being strong in your own power to stand on your own without having to rely on anybody else to buddy up with them, to soothe their insecurities about you. Come on, collective. This could be your best friend. This could be your best friend. Y'all been riding and dying for 20 years. That you, know, you thought they were riding for you. They're, they're dying right now because they got somebody else to buddy up with you to try to make you look bad, to judge you. This is also being very self-absorbed and being very unaware. Uh, you know, narcissists are not self-aware. So it's just like, whatever they're doing, they think that's okay to do, right? But what they don't realize is they're acting out of their own insecurities because they're triggered by your strength. These people don't know what it is, right? It's your light of God that does it. It's like when you're shy naturally, that natural compassion, that natural leadership ability, that natural, I heard ingenuity, and somebody's got a problem with your ingenuity. That's weird. Um, but yeah, that natural ingenuity, that natural passion, charisma, like, you know, your courage, it comes inside of you. It's not, you don't need any external factors to move like this. This is people who need other people to bolster them. And, you know, narcissists do that. They need other people to balance their energy out. They have no internal regulation. They're not self-aware. So what do they do? Always project onto you, right? Literally, because you carry the full energy. This is you and your new beginning. Like you're, like I told you, you're standing tall against whoever this person and or people are. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what they try to do to judge you. These are people who carry negative, funky energy themselves and they got to team up with other people to get them to agree to that negative energy, right? Because you're dealing with your full energy. It's a new beginning, right? You're, you're stepping out on blind faith. You're doing something that nobody else does. And that also does connect with the energy of the hermit you know, stepping apart from society, you're doing something that nobody else does or can do or even wants to do. Somebody's got a problem with that, but that's their problem. And that's the, the, the pause. That's the problem with society who has, you know, they're stuck in the matrix a lot. You know, a lot of people, you know, they're very comfortable in their own self image about what the world should look like and how people should do things in the world. But when somebody breaks that mold, right, they don't follow society's norms. A lot of people just get aggravated and just irritated with you. No, you should follow the company line. You should follow the party line. I'm not trying to get politics here, but hey, if the shoe fits, wear it, okay? A lot of people get agitated that you don't do what other people do and you don't think like them. You don't have to think like everybody else, but it's the mere fact that not just thinking like everybody else, they get upset and get other people to judge you because you think differently. Come on now, let's be real about this thing. That's why somebody's mad and judging you about this full energy, okay? However this thing resonates in your particular personal situation, this is also being innocent, right? You know, carving a new path. You're doing something different than nobody else does or wants to do, right? Somebody is actually judging you because of this to try to give you some type of five of cups some type of grief, emotional loss, disappointment, you know, just an upset. Like somebody wants to make you feel bad and to have this effect. This person right here falling out under this queen of pentacles in reverse. This is this person who's going to be like, really like in your face. No, I can't meet you, you know, uh, on this rate of pay at your job. No, I can't agree to that contract. The only thing I can do is lowball you. Come on now, collective. My downloads are out here talking for somebody. Okay. Um, this five of uh, cups energy is meant for you. That's what they want, right? They want to give you some type of disappointment, some type of grief, heartbreak. This is the intent, which is confirmed by this knight of swords in reverse energy. This person's going to come to you very bossy. It's going to sound like, no, I can't do this. And here's why. And here's why you don't deserve whatever it is. Come on. Somebody out here trying to devalue you, uh, <clears throat> lies. I'm telling you, somebody out here is triggered by your strength. They're pressed by your strength. If they were secure in themselves, they would be no need to devalue you. People who try to devalue you feel unvalued in themselves. They're insecure and they're jealous and envious of you of how strong you are. If they were really that strong, they wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't care, but they do care because you're stronger than them. I told you somebody's in a power struggle about your strength. This is why. 
And this is what people do. What is not a swords in reverse energy, very bossy, abrupt, cutting energy that's also very deceitful. This is a high priestess in the inverse. Told you their secrets are revealed. This is a not a trustworthy person, per people, okay? This is two energies that I'm getting in this particular reading, right? This is an untrustworthy person. They don't follow their intuition about you, but you did. You understood that these people carry the three of pentacles in reverse energy. These people are moving in their ego, right? This is a bad team player. And it's like, they're always doing like sloppy work. So, and like I said, if this resonates a work situation, because I heard discrimination, contract negotiations, and lowball, this could be, you know, a friend or a family member trying to lowball your work, trying to lowball your new life, trying to lowball your new start, trying to lowball you in your value in yourself because they're intimidated by your strength. Come on, collective. Y'all hear me on this. This is somebody who's a bad team player. And because they're a bad team player, they carry the seven of pentacles in reverse always rushing to judgment, rushing to judgment, rushing to judgment about you not being aware about how they're acting towards you. To them, what they're doing is absolutely okay. This is also not just rushing, but this is, you know, wanting instant gratification and get very, very frustrated. I'm telling you, somebody's mad about your strength. And it's because this Queen of Swords energy is coming out in you. Your Queen of Swords energy is very honest, knowledgeable. You're opinionated and you think for yourself. Because you think for yourself about something is aggravating the mess out of somebody who wants to devalue you and want to cut down your worth. If you're in a contract negotiation, um, I'm getting a download about this. The fact that you're knowledgeable, there is something that you know that you can use in this contract negotiation with somebody. You know something, and I'm, I'm hearing it's about the past, something about the past that can help you in this conversation, in this interaction. You're knowledgeable about something in the past. Um, something about something that was already done that can help you and to get over this person trying to lowball you, right? Um, do your facts, do your research. And I mean, I'm talking to the choir, you have, you carry this energy anyway. So it's like you're knowledgeable. Somebody trying to lowball you in a contract negotiation is not going to work because you're the queen of swords. You're the queen of negotiations. You're the queen of using your words in a strategic way to be able to get what you want. Um, I heard intellectual property. Somebody might be trying to argue with you about intellectual property, trying to say it's theirs and it's yours. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I'm getting in the downloads, but your Queen of Swords energy, you're gonna be able to overcome this, right? Literally, Eight of Swords in reverse is coming out for you, okay? This Eight of Swords energy is talking about, you know, getting out of the trap that they're trying to put you in. Yes, they're trying to trap you, trying to tell you that they can't do something for you. And you, come on now, y'all see how this energy is working out here, okay? This eight of, uh, eight of Swords in reverse energy, this is uh, making sure that you don't stay in that trap. Thinking for yourself, this is free thought and release from what they're trying to do to you. Literally confirmation, Seven of Cups in reverse, energy comes out. Setting your intentions, making the right choice out of this illusion that they're trying to spin. Somebody's trying to lowball you in some type of negotiation. I don't care what it is, devalue you, trying not to see your work, trying to let you not see your work. You're going to make the right decision here because you're thinking for yourself and not allowing this nine of pentacles and the reverse energy to impact you this does talk about codependency but not just codependency financial difficulty somebody trying to lowball you to give you a financial difficulty right they're going to make the right decision to get out of this trap right to give you some type of financial difficulty because this still is dealing with pentacle energy so somebody's job out here is trying to do this and again if it doesn't resonate it could be friend family your, your ex, karmic attached to the ex, whoever it is in this situation, right? This is also dealing with people who are lonely and need you to be codependent on them. How else can they get you to be codependent on them is to get you to lowball yourself, y'all. A lot of people will do that. They'll get you to make the wrong choice for yourself. You know what I'm saying, Collective? You know, dealing with people who carry the Nine of Cups in the reverse energy towards you, right? This Nine of, uh, nine of Cups in the reverse energy is somebody who's smug, greedy. They don't want to share and they don't believe you about something, right? So this could, you could be dealing with an ex in a, a karmic situation. However, the situation resonates for you, right? You know, somebody trying to fight you over possession about something. This could be a karmic trying to fight you over possession about whatever the, the, the ex owes you in court. You know what I'm saying? However, the situation resonates for you, it's like somebody's still carrying this energy, but this is their energy you're not codependent they are like they're trying to like put you in a situation where you need to lowball yourself you don't need to lowball yourself they're codependent it ain't you right they don't want to share something with you in some type of negotiation right because you're defending yourself not a wands energy here i'm telling y'all y'all are not y'all are not backing down from these people whoever these particular people are you're defending yourself that's not a wands energy talks about your, your persevering. This is like a can-do attitude, you know, overcoming these obstacles by defending yourself. And this is like using your resources that you need to be able to overcome this situation. You absolutely are defending yourself. And because you are, that's why you got the wheel of fortune out here. Uh-uh. You are not backing down from this person and her people. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> and it's like coming across like funny because they thought this was gonna work, but it's not. You're the one that's had the, the emperor energy that came out of my last reading, y'all. The wheel of fortune is this is luck on your side. This is fortune, this is change. This was fated to happen because you're defending yourself from what they're trying to do to you, literally. So you can move in peace. Four swords energy comes out for you. This is a period of peace, calm. You might be ignoring the mess out of this person and her people as well you should. It's not for you to handle. Yes, they're trying to project that negativity on you. That did come out of my last reading yesterday, yes. But at the same time, you know what they're trying to do, but it's it's not going to work because you're at peace, right? So it's just like for all the arguing and bickering that they're trying to do, trying to lowball you, trying to discriminate against you, trying to get you to undercut yourself, trying to make you feel some type of way, you don't. <laughs> One more game. You don't. Four Swords Energy. This is a period of rest, recuperation, a period of peace, meditation, and calm. And my friend, our last clarifier is that puts you in the Empress seat. Man, y'all came out as the Emperor in my last reading. Y'all are coming out as the Empress here. Still in your position of leadership. Ain't nobody rocking your collector. I don't care what they try to do. Right? Your energy of the Empress is the energy of femininity, motherhood, creativity, nurturing, you know, being connected to nature, being very, very grounded. Literally, four swords energy right next to the Empress. A lot of grounded energy. You cannot be rocked right now. I'm telling you, your energy is rock solid, right? This is also the energy of abundance. So somebody trying to lowball you in a contract negotiation, because I keep getting these work situations. If it applies for you, there it's not gonna happen, right? You you are abundant already so you attract abundance come on now literally right you this also talks about the energy of fertility so you know if somebody's trying to fight you over you know creative you know partnerships or you know some type of intellectual property however this thing goes you carry the abundance with you not them somebody trying to be fight you for it because they're aggravated about you having the energy and not them and hey, that's not your problem collective a lot of this has to do with standing in your own energy and your power by yourself that somebody is aggravated about because they can't do it. Y'all, it intimidates the mess out of people, the people who are insecure. That's exactly who it triggers. And it does not trigger you because you're standing tall once again. Let's go ahead and get a Visions of Duality, get some advice for our collective. Card four talks about your worth. Yep, somebody's trying to, to haggle you about worth. It is not up for discussion, okay? Worth or value are strange concepts because they often refer to the opinions of others. Maybe we have been swayed too much by economics theory that, that talk of supply and demand. As such, if our value is not recognized by others, which is a cruel shame by the way, it seems that it doesn't exist. On the contrary, our worth is our own and it exists just because we are. Everything that tries to rob us of that sense of unconquered worth is just stiff. Yep. Advice, do not open the door to thieves and do not thank them ever after they have tried to take your work. Yep. And there's a quote by Malcolm X that says, we cannot think of being acceptable to others until we have first proven acceptable to ourselves. Tell them Malcolm X, literally, you know your work collective, literally coming out as the emperor in my first reading and the empress. Honey, nobody can tell you that you are not worthy because you actually are, but just by breathing. Okay, collective, let's get a gratitude oracle and we'll wrap it up. Part 28 talks about commitment. The fact that you are committed to yourself and not whoever these particular people are because they're not committed to you. Come on now, y'all see this. Relationships are sustained through care and attention. Long-term relationships, including friendships, are a testament to your willingness to put energy into nurturing those connections. When you accept the challenging times, even those moments when there seems to be a communication gap or a disconnect, it means that you value the relationship. This commitment can pertain to a contract or work partnership. At the beginning of the professional, personal, or romantic venture, relationships are in the idyllic phase where everyone tends to be on their best behavior. After this initial phase, reality sets in and people start to be a little bit more of themselves. It is not that there is pretense, it's just that people don't usually show all their less appealing attributes or shortcomings right away. As you become more comfortable with someone, you feel safe enough to reveal more of yourself. Commitment begins with you. Know what you want and what you consider to be deal breakers. Be honest and open about your own desires. Be willing to put all your wishes out in the open. Know your strengths and create a balance between your wants and your abilities. Be aware of how relationships make you feel as well. Does it bring out the best in you or the worst in you? As you look at relationships, make sure they support your growth and enable how you feel validated. Determine what you get yourself into before committing. Then be ready to go the distance and put in both the time and the effort needed for yourself. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about, Collective. You didn't get a chance to be the Empress by no fault of your own. You took time out for yourself to break away from the ridiculousness. You know what you need to be able to be that Empress energy, that being fertile, being abundant, right? 
putting in for yourself, pouring back into you when people are trying to take from you, knowing your worth is exactly why you are committed to whatever you need for yourself. Go ahead on Empress. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.